Hey guys, so I just put this video together uh, about how you can use cold exposure to improve your health and um, experiment with some biohacking. Right now I'm sitting outside and it's a nice cold December day in Toronto, Canada. So to give you an idea of how cold that is, I've actually got a thermometer here um, uh, and, it's, and it's cooling down. It's, it's probably around, uh, what's that, it's, uh, it's probably around zero. It actually says it's Celsius, that is, so it says it feels like minus seven, which in Fahrenheit for you guys uh, in, in, in the States, that would be about 18, 18, 15, 18 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty chilly, um, and I've just got a sweatshirt on, and I've got a t-shirt under here, and, um, and that's all it takes. Like for cold exposure, you, could, you can go fairly extreme, but I might even consider going for a walk right now, and with that um, amount of cold, uh, it's just lowering my, my body temperature just a little bit, and what your body then has to do is that actually has to ramp up its, its, uh, its heating production, um, and that uh, ends up burning more calories. So there are some people who experiment with this with fat loss and use just cold exposure to, to lose a lot of weight. Um, and a good example of, of someone who does this uh, in, without even realizing it is a guy, uh, Michael Phelps. Um, he consumes around, they say around 27,000 calories every single day. And that's a huge amount. That's, that's probably 10 times as much as the average person even comes close to, to, uh, to consuming. And yet, and yet he's so lean. So you wonder, like, how does that happen? Is it because of the amount of exercise he does? You know, he's in the pool for hours uh, every single day. So you would think, you know, he must just be burning that. But um, if you do the, the sort of math behind that, uh, the actual exercise and movement only accounts for three or four, maybe 5,000 of those calories. So you're talking about uh, 20,000 calories that seem to go unaccounted for. Uh, and basically what that is, because the pool is kept at a, at a low temperature, his body has actually got to ramp up its heat production to maintain his body temperature because, because of the deficit in temperature between the water and his body. So his primary calorie burning is from being cold. So if you're interested in um, improving your fat loss potential, consider using cold exposure. It's really easy. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to go out and exercise and work your ass off. Um, even exercise, the body is very efficient, so you really won't actually burn that much calories just from exercise. But if it's cold outside, you will get that added advantage. But some, something as simple as just going for a walk with one less layer or sitting out on your balcony um, when it's this cold with just a t-shirt uh, and maybe a light sweatshirt, like right now, my body's starting to shiver just a little bit. And that's your internal mechanism to actually just try and ramp up that temperature. You want to move around. You want to feel that sort of cold and your body's telling the rest of your body, okay, we need to warm up, otherwise this guy's going to get uh, hypothermia or something like that. Um, so something to uh, experiment with, you'll get a feel for it. And uh, one of the other things that I like about it is uh, as I give myself a bit of cold exposure outside in cold, you know, maybe a cold shower, ice pack on the back of the neck, um, when it does get cold like it is now in December, January, and February, um, I've already adapted for it. So now when I'm outside, uh, I can get away with just wearing a t-shirt or a light sweatshirt because my body is just so used to being able to ramp up the temperature. Um, and that's really nice. You'll, you'll see your friends and maybe family, they're like, oh, I can't believe how cold it is outside. you got to put on a jacket. But, but I've now physically adapted myself to be able to maintain that level of temperature and uh, my body can just sort of, on the flip, um, ramp up the production and, and uh, so you end up, you'll burn more calories, you probably have to eat more. Um, or if you're trying to uh, lose weight, you're going to use up your body fat stores to, uh, to make that sort of level of production. So something to consider, try some cold exposure and, uh, and, see, and see what it does for you.